Hello and welcome to our latest video, where we're diving into the science behind popular diets. At the core of our health and wellness goals, what we eat significantly affects how we feel and perform daily. In our previous video, we explored the latest innovations in health and fitness for both men and women. Today, we're taking a deeper dive into some of the most popular diets that have taken the health and fitness world by storm, including the Keto and Atkins diets and the differences between Diet Coke and Coke Zero. By the end of this video, you'll better understand how different diets affect the body and which ones may be best suited for your health goals. As mentioned earlier, today's video explores the science behind popular diets. And we're starting with one of the fastest growing trends in the world of nutrition, plant-based diets. Plant-based diets have been around for decades, but in recent years, there has been a surge in popularity among people of all ages and backgrounds. The term, plant-based, encompasses a variety of diets, including vegan, vegetarian, and flexitarian, which primarily involve plant-based foods with occasional meat consumption. One of the main benefits of a plant-based diet is its positive impact on overall health. Research has shown that these diets can help lower the risk of chronic diseases such as heart disease, diabetes, and certain types of cancer. They are also associated with a reduced risk of obesity, a significant health concern worldwide. In addition to personal health benefits, plant-based diets are more sustainable for the planet. Animal agriculture has been linked to environmental issues such as deforestation, greenhouse gas emissions, and water pollution. By adopting a plant-based diet, individuals can reduce their ecological footprint and contribute to a more sustainable future. However, Transitioning to a plant-based diet can be challenging for some. Common obstacles include difficulty finding satisfying plant-based options, feeling overwhelmed by the variety of foods available, and concerns about getting enough protein and other nutrients. To make the transition easier, there are several tips to consider. These include gradually reducing animal-based foods, experimenting with different plant-based options, and planning meals ahead of time to ensure adequate nutrient intake. With the right approach, transitioning to a plant-based diet can be a rewarding and fulfilling experience. As viewers, we encourage you to explore the benefits of plant-based diets and see how they can fit into your lifestyle. And if you've already made the switch, let us know in the comments how it's going for you in words. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up if you found this trend exciting and informative. Next, we'll dive into the low-carb trend with a closer look at the Keto and Atkins diets. Low-carb diets have gained immense popularity in recent years, particularly the ketogenic diet, the keto diet, and the Atkins diet. These diets involve reducing the intake of carbohydrates and increasing the intake of proteins and fats. The keto diet is a high-fat, low-carb diet that aims to get your body into ketosis, which burns fat for energy instead of carbohydrates. The Atkins diet, on the other hand, the Atkins diet owns a low-carb diet that emphasizes eating protein-rich foods and healthy fats while limiting carbohydrates to a certain degree. While both diets have similarities, they have different principles and benefits. The keto diet is known for its rapid weight loss effects, improved blood sugar control, and increased energy levels. 
On the other hand, the Atkins diet is more flexible and allows for a broader range of food options, making it easier to stick to long-term. However, following a low-carb diet can also come with its challenges. It can be difficult to eliminate certain foods, such as bread, pasta, and sugar, which are often staples in a typical Western diet. It's important to remember that not all carbohydrates are created equal and that whole, unprocessed carbohydrates can provide essential nutrients and fiber. If you're considering a low-carb diet, it's essential to approach it balanced and healthily. Incorporate plenty of non-starchy vegetables, healthy fats, and proteins to maintain adequate nutrient intake. Please consult a healthcare professional before starting any new diet to ensure it's safe and appropriate for your needs. So, those were some of the principles and benefits of low-carb diets, along with tips for maintaining a healthy and balanced approach to eating while following them. Now, let's move on to the next trend. Now, let's move on to trend number three, intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting has gained popularity in recent years as a way to improve health and promote weight loss, and it involves alternating periods of eating with periods of fasting. The most common forms of intermittent fasting are the 16 eighths and the 5 to 2 methods. The 16 eighths method involves eating during an 8-hour window each day and fasting for the remaining 16 hours. During the eating period, you can eat normally and consume 3 meals. During fasting, you can have calorie-free drinks like water, black coffee, and tea. The 5 to 2 method involves eating normally 5 days a week and reducing calorie intake to 500 to 600 calories for the remaining 2 days. Intermittent fasting has potential benefits, including weight loss, improved insulin sensitivity, and reduced inflammation. However, it's essential to approach intermittent fasting healthily and sustainably. To incorporate intermittent fasting into your lifestyle, it's important to start gradually and choose a method that works for you. You may also want to consult with a healthcare provider before starting intermittent fasting. So, that's a brief overview of the trend of intermittent fasting. Let's move on to the next movement, functional foods. Functional foods have been gaining popularity as more people become interested in improving their health through their diet. In this trend, we will discuss functional nutrition and how it can benefit our overall health and wellness. Functional foods offer specific health benefits beyond their essential nutritional value. Some examples of functional foods include turmeric, ginger, and green tea. Turmeric, for example, contains an active ingredient called curcumin, which has anti-inflammatory properties and can help reduce the risk of chronic diseases such as cancer and heart disease. Ginger is also known for its anti-inflammatory properties and may help reduce pain and nausea. Green tea is an excellent source of antioxidants, which can help prevent damage to cells and reduce the risk of chronic diseases. Incorporating functional foods into your diet can be as simple as adding them to your meals or snacks. For example, sprinkle turmeric on your eggs or add ginger to your smoothie. You can also drink green tea instead of sugary drinks or other beverages. By incorporating these functional foods into your diet, you can support your overall health and wellness.
Now let's talk about the trend of low-calorie alternatives. With so many options on the market, knowing which choices are best for our health can be challenging. In this section, we'll discuss some of the most popular low-calorie alternatives and their pros and cons. First, consider two popular low-calorie soft drinks, Diet Coke and Coke Zero. While both are marketed as healthier alternatives to regular Coke, their ingredients and taste differ. Diet Coke is sweetened with aspartame and acesulfame potassium, while Coke Zero uses aspartame and a different flavor profile. We'll examine the benefits and drawbacks of these low-calorie alternatives and explore other options for reducing calorie intake. When it comes to consuming low-calorie alternatives, there are both advantages and disadvantages. On the one hand, they can help us reduce our overall calorie intake and aid in weight loss. On the other hand, some studies have suggested that consuming artificial sweeteners may negatively affect gut health and insulin sensitivity. We must weigh these factors and make informed choices about our low-calorie alternatives. To ensure we're making the best choices for our health, it's essential to do our research and read labels carefully. Some low-calorie alternatives may contain other ingredients that can harm our health, such as excess sodium or artificial flavors. By being informed and making thoughtful choices, we can incorporate low-calorie alternatives into a healthy and balanced diet. Finally, it's critical to take low-calorie options into account when selecting foods and drinks. While they may have some benefits, they must be aware of their potential drawbacks and make informed decisions. Ultimately, finding a sustainable and balanced approach to eating is critical to overall health and wellness. We hope you found this video on popular diets informative and valuable for your health and wellness journey. Remember that finding a sustainable and balanced approach to eating is critical, and there is no one-size-fits-all solution. We encourage you to explore different diets and eating patterns to find what works best for you and your lifestyle. There are many options, whether it's a plant-based diet, a low-carb approach, or intermittent fasting. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more health and wellness content, and to like and comment on this video with your thoughts and feedback. We appreciate your support and dedication to living a healthy and happy life. Thank you for watching.